Secretary Sakana. Welcome back to Reinvented. Today we have Angela. And would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, I'm um, primarily a voice actor and podcaster. Um, my style of podcasting is storytelling. It's not interview style. And um, I, the name of my podcast is The Kid Bull Story, uh, which deals uh, with um, the treatment of animals. Cool. And then I'm going to go into a bunch of questions. Since we're running a little late, it's probably going to be like 20, 30 minutes of it. Okay. Um, just, just to be prepared. So probably will be a little shorter of an episode. Um, what do you feel like people most misunderstand about you? You mean me personally? Yeah, uh, career-wise or yourself. Uh, uh, actually, I haven't thought about that. Um, uh, I, I actually thought this was going to be more about the podcast or my podcast really? specifically. Yeah, I mean... Um, I mean, I basically um, did the podcast because I feel there are a lot of people that are um, not educated about how to treat animals. And that is one of my quests is to try to educate people um, and educate them with humor and um, storytelling. And, you know, that's, that's why I went and found podcasting, which I, I didn't even know what podcasting was until I started searching. Um, what's like one thing you would tell people um, about like helping animals? Oh my God. One thing. Um, you need to, people, if, if you're going to take in an, an animal, if you're going to, um, hopefully you will rescue an animal rather than buy an animal because it's it's just the right thing to do there are so many stray animals and animals in shelters that need homes so if you're going to do that be 1000 percent sure that you are going to be responsible for that animal from the beginning to the very end you cannot get an animal because they're cute and then decide that you're going to throw them out into the street because you have to move or because you just had a baby or because your boyfriend or your girlfriend doesn't like the animal you know what i mean um so yeah um like what what is your like i guess main mission in a sense like with helping animals or just your main mission i guess in mm -hmm. general sure um so my mission is, like I said, to, to educate people, um, to um, open up their eyes, to give them um, ideas about, um, you know, that, that there are ways to, to treat an animal, um, you know, to be kind to them, to be compassionate. Um, uh, you know, most people will go in, they'll buy a, a, a dog or a cat and the, they won't know the first thing about how to take care of them. So it's, it, you know, I, I would like, I mean, a lot of people don't even know that uh, cat litter has to be changed uh, a lot. It has to be changed almost daily. Um, and uh, and then they complain about the odor. Well, it's actually their, their fault. So there, yeah, there's a lot. What do you think... Um, like, what would you tell someone wanting to maybe adopt an animal or get any, um, any type of animal? Well, the, do your homework, number one. Um, you know, think about, think about all the consequences. Uh, think about all, troubleshoot, you know, think about all the scenarios that could possibly, um, uh, get you you know, to think if you want to keep the animal or if, you know, if there's going to be a situation where you think you might have to get rid of the animal. Um, again, if you're going to get an animal, it's for life. They're like family. So 
you, you treat them like family and you keep them for life. Mm, let's see. Do you said you have your, your own podcast, right? Yes. Do you want to tell us what that's about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could tell you more. I mean, it's uh, pretty much what I've been talking about. Uh, the reason that I did the, the kid pool story, uh, the kid pool story is about a, um, a pit bull. It's a female and her name is Kit. And she went through some hard times. She was um, taken from her mother when she was a, a puppy and she went to this horrible place where they were using her as bait and, and then she was rescued. And then after that, she went to live with this wonderful woman at this doggy daycare. And um, she has this special ability because she's been through so much. She's very compassionate. And because she's so smart and, and what she's been through, she's able to um, help other dogs. Um, so along with Rose, who's the owner of, of the, of the uh, doggy daycare, she's able to, um, to help not only the dogs, but you know, Rose helps the people. So Rose helps the people understand how to treat animals and um, Kit helps the other dogs ov overcome all their issues. So she's like a therapist, <laughs> a little dog therapist. And uh, what made you want to like, what, like, what was, the, I guess, maybe the turning point in your life that made you want to do like and helping animals and helping, you know, mm -hmm. I guess set that standard. Yeah. So I started um, when I was a kid. I mean, I had, I had uh, an experience when I was about seven years old. I went to throw the garbage and I found a bird that was in the garbage. It couldn't, it couldn't fly because someone had thrown like some greasy food on top of it. And um, I, I felt, I felt horrible for it. And I called my mom and she helped me to clean it up. And we got the bird uh, to the point where it was, you know, was able to fly again. So that was my first experience rescuing animals. And ever since that, I've been rescuing animals, all kinds. Um, and then I, I said to myself, you know, there, there is so much pain. I, I see so much pain in animals, even to this day. You know, there's so many strays and, and all the things that happen throughout the world. And even though, you know, there's a lot of people that are, that are trying to do, you know, uh, trying to help out the situation, I, you know, I thought, well, let me put my two cents in. And that's when I decided to, um, I wrote a short story and uh, that's the basis of the podcast. Like, do you have like, I guess, a, a team around you that like, I guess helps or like even maybe not back then, but now? Uh, well, let me just tell you this. I started um, the podcast not knowing anything about podcasting. And uh, I uh, originally wanted to do a short film. That was my idea. But when I started, I wanted to do an animation. And when I started to investigate how to put it together, I found out that it's very expensive. And so I started looking around for another way to, you know, bring my story to the masses and something that would not be so expensive to me. And so I started searching and I found podcasting. And that's, um, and then, and then I, I mean, I basically became a producer. I have a cast of 12 voice actors, including myself. And, uh, you know, I wrote the stories. I, I basically do everything except the editing. I have an editor that helps, you know, he puts the, the music on it and he, you know, cleans up the, the files and stuff and, and then delivers it to me to post. But that's, uh, yeah. Do you get any, like, like, I, I know it's like work, but do you have any, like, funny moments that you, like, you know, because sometimes you need those good moments in, in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if, if you if you go to the Kid Bull story, which I hope you will, and I hope everybody goes to um, listen to it, 
it's very funny. It's it's humorous. There are you know there are these all these dogs that have issues, and I mean they're like people, you know, people with issues. Um, uh, but you know, animals have issues as well, and um, so it, it you know when I've had rehearsal time with the uh, voice actors, it's wonderful to hear them you know, portraying these, these characters and, um, uh, it, some of them, you know, have, have had to find their voice to find, well, what does a, a chihuahua sound like? What does a, uh, an angry chihuahua sound like? What does, a, uh, an angry chihuahua with an, a Hispanic accent sound like, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. So the, those have been funny moments for us. And then also, did you have like, I guess, a job working with animals like prior, like, or did you kind of just like maybe jump into the career if that makes sense? No, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been, I've been an animal advocate since I'm a little girl from the first time that I rescued the bird. After that, I, I did a lot of animal rescue. Um, I've done... Um, I've worked with organizations and I've worked on my own. I've worked with friends. Um, um, on my travels, I've rescued animals. Um, right now, I'm trying to help a, a friend in Greece who's, uh, she's, my God, she's taking care of over 125 cats uh, that she's been rescuing. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to help her, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to see... Uh, trying to get people to interested in, in adopting these animals. But yes, I've been an animal advocate for a long time. It's it's my um, compassion. And then also, you, you said you've worked with organizations as well. Um, is there like one maybe that you, I guess, like was was like an like okay organization? Like they were, you know, you worked really well with each other and was there one that was like, like, and you don't have to state their names either, um, that were like kind of rough to work with? You know, I mean, these were organizations like um, the Humane Society, um, just organizations that were in my neighborhood. And I worked with them um, basically either walking dogs, uh, cleaning up the, the, um, the space where they lived, um, uh, you know, helping with adoptions, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, no, I mean, the the focus was the animals, not 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 working with the people. Was there was there any? I guess I more mean like, I'm not like so much the animals, but like, was there like one that maybe was like focused more on like telling you you didn't know what you were doing and or any like even though you've had years experience like they're one that told you like I I you don't know what you're doing um no I, I don't think there was ever a situation like that but um, I mean I, I did a lot of animal rescue that was kind of dangerous um, and um, you know in that respect, yeah, some, some of my friends and family were like, you know, just be careful doing that because I have jumped over fences to rescue animals. Um, there was uh, the one time I remember, um, this, this, this particular time comes to mind, um, that I jumped over this fence and there was, uh, it was in the summertime and, and uh, there was a, um, a mother dog and her puppies in a van and it was so hot outside and those poor animals were crying and it was uh, three of us that went and there was this one woman she was filming the whole thing and then there was the, this other woman helping me and um, yeah I, I was the one that jumped over the fence and got all the dogs out and and we the mother squeezed herself through the fence because she you know wanted to be with her puppies but um, no, I mean, I, uh, when you're doing that kind of work, you're, you know, you're learning as you go along. It's not like um, you're doing something wrong. No, you do it because you do it because you, you do it from your heart. You know, you want to help the animals. Um, and you're learning, you know? Yeah. 
Um, what's one lesson um, your job has taught you that you think everyone should learn at some point in their life? Uh, you mean concerning the podcast or concerning um, animal rescue, concerning um, voice kind acting? Of, um, any of them. Okay, well, let's let's start with um, my podcast. I mean, I think that um, it, it's a wonderful podcast. Of course, I'm going to say that, um, but it um, you know it's 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 educational and it's great for children. It's great for adults. Um, please listen to it. We have three seasons. The episodes are short, under ten minutes each, and they're full of information. Um, messages that that are wonderful that you can learn from um, so please check out the Kitbull story where everywhere that you uh, listen to podcasts in terms of my voice acting um, I keep working on that and uh, yeah that's that's uh, I mean I've learned a lot through podcasting actually and uh, it's it's been helpful so if, if you're interested in, in doing that um, podcasting is a wonderful way to get into it and then also um what is one piece of advice you'd give someone trying to start their own podcast um well do your research um like i said when i when i came into podcasting i had no idea what it was uh but but i knew that i wanted i wanted a vehicle that i can reach the masses i can reach a bunch of people at the same time but that i didn't have to spend so much money uh, doing it and so um it i mean it's something that just about anybody can do um you know there's a learning curve and and you know you there's there, you can go on youtube and learn from you know all the people there and learn from facebook and there's a lot of places that you can go and learn and then also, what is um, one thing when it comes to um, podcasting that that you have an opinion on that most people would disagree with or have a different opinion? I'm not sure I have an answer for that. The only thing I can say is, um, uh, you know, when I when I got involved in podcasting, I, I didn't know that I would say... I don't know what percentage is interview style, but certainly a lot more than storytelling, which is my style. And I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew is I wanted to tell a story. <laughs> you know, I mean, I wanted to tell a story and, and I, I, I approached it as if I was doing a play. That's what I did. I mean, I got a bunch of actors. I said, look, here's a story. I wrote this story. Okay, this is your part. Your, this is your part. And, you know, and... And, um, you know, I auditioned, I made sure that they, their voices matched what I wanted. And, you know, that's it. But um, I think that most podcasting is this interview style. Yeah, I would, I would say a lot of them are more interview style. Um, with also that, what are three other podcasts you'd recommend or that you like and why? Oh, I listen to the Veopreneur podcast. That's probably my, my favorite one. And it's it's all about um, how to get better as, as a voice actor. Let's see. Let's see. Questions? I don't know. Let's see. Um... So in terms of like either podcasting or animal rescue, how would you normally describe like how you kind of like go about it? Like how you go about doing your work? Well, right now, um, uh, my podcast is on hiatus um, because, it, you know, you need money to produce it. So, uh, you know, um, I've, I was able to get some grants in the past, and um, 
So that's that's a process that you have to go through, and it's it's a lot of work. So that's why I, I right now we're you know we're at a standstill. Um, yeah, so I continue working on my my voice acting, uh, which is also uh, <laughs> labor intensive, like anything else. And also, what is something that, like in either podcast me podcasting or like animal rescue that makes you, I guess that makes you nervous. Oh, uh, there was a lot of stuff that made me ner nervous in the beginning because I'm not a technical person at all. I have, I, I'm like, oh my God, when it comes to all this stuff, you know, even, even, you know, computers and, you know, everything seems to be changing fast. Everything gets updated and you have to, everything that you jump into, you have to learn. There's so many different, um, uh, you know, uh, areas that you have to learn. It's not just one thing. It's, it's many things. And, uh, when you're, when you're a one woman show, you, you have to, you have to make it work and you have to find a way to make it work. And so it's very stressful sometimes. And then, um, what makes, um, the, like the way you go about like your everyday life that makes you unique? Um, what is one thing that makes me or many things if yeah or many things if you have multiple I, I think that I think the like I said the thing that that makes me me I don't know how unique that would be uh, is my love of animals and my desire to help them and then looking back what what is something you would have done differently in terms of what? In terms of your podcast, Animal Rescue. Um, okay, well, let's see. Um, I think that uh, in terms of podcasting, I would have liked to have had, um, I mean, I went one step at a time because, you know, I, even though it wasn't, it wasn't as costly as, let's say, making a short film, um, it would have been a good idea for me to know that there was an investment that that I needed to make. And so if, if you're going to get into something, make sure, like this is why I always say, make sure that you research it thoroughly before you go in it, into it uh, 100%. Um, you know, because then then you're always looking for money to produce it. And what is the most important lesson you've learned in the past decade? Oh my God, <laughs> too many. Um, I don't know. Uh, I I guess it's just to persevere, never give up, keep going. You know, um, if if you know if you have a dream, just go for it. Um, just keep 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 at it until you succeed, and just. Um, um, don't let people put you down for it. Don't let people say that you can't do it. Just go for it. And what would be a piece of advice um, that you would give someone who wants to be in the same current profession as, as you? Um, you mean voiceovers or podcasting? Both. Huh? Um, they, both of them require work. Yeah, yeah, you have to you have to work uh, at it, you know, um, and you, you there's a lot a lot to learn. So, you know, start from the bottom and, and work your way up, uh, learn as much as you can and and, uh, you know, apply yourself. Um, that's the only way that you're going to make it the only way that you're going to get from point A to point B. Let's see. Um, what is an interesting fact about you? interesting um i i mean i've been i've been in the arts the performing arts all my life um i was a dancer and um i traveled a lot as a dancer 
and uh, I taught dance. So I've been involved in the performing arts for a very long time and, it's, and everything is related in some way. And I think that that helped me as well because um, you have to have an ear for music and music is related to sound and, and voiceover is sound and podcasting is sound. And so, yeah, there's, there's a relationship there. Um, and I think that all that helped me. My background in, in performing arts helped a lot. And then do you love your future or past more? <laughs> um, I'm grateful for my past and looking forward to my future. Let's see. Uh, are you living like how you thought you would five years ago? No. <laughs> no, I, you never know. I mean, um, you know, you you have you have dreams, you have um, ideas that you want to do, you you know all kinds of things. But um, I, I'm I'm glad that I realized some of them. You know, I'm I'm glad that I was able to do what I did. Um, and I think um, you know, during COVID, uh, that was probably the turning point for me um, in, in terms of podcasting. That you know that free time that everybody had. I think that if you didn't take advantage of it, then not, not so good, you know? Uh, and I, I, I went for it. You know, I took, I took advantage of that free time and I, and I used it and I, and I was able to produce the podcast. And tell me something you think is true that almost nobody agrees with you on. <laughs> something that's true that nobody um i think just the same thing that i mentioned before about you know uh the treatment of animals and how people just uh have no idea how to treat them you know and 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 i mean i talk to people sometimes on the street and they get all um upset about it um you know i try to to approach it uh in a friendly manner to be nice about it but people get offended very easily because they think that you're uh, that they're not you know deep down inside they, pro they probably feel that they're not doing something right and they don't like to be told that they're not doing something right and what was something that you wish you hadn't but you had given up on say that again what is something that you wish you hadn't given up on? Um, something that I haven't given up on. Um, I can't think of anything right now to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then um, do you have a regret? If so, what is it? Uh, oh my God. Well, in terms of animals, and I'm going to go there because again, it's my passion. Um, it, it's, you know, there are so many animals that need to be rescued and I wish I could rescue them all. I just feel like, you know, I, 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 I feel like so bad about that, you know? And how would you want to be remembered? Um, I, you know, I, I, that I'm a person that cares and that, that I'm a person that's uh, considerate uh, and compassionate and um, was not somebody that, um, that, you know, I went after and did the things that I wanted to do um, and um, was able to achieve some of them. And then was there any, for your podcast, was there any like certain softwares that you use that maybe you want to share with people who might want to start their own podcast? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Uh, is there any like... For, for since you had your own podcast and you were, you were learning how to, um, you know, 
producing your own podcast. Um, is there any like apps or softwares you use that uh, maybe could help benefit people, you know, people trying to start their own podcast? Uh, yeah. Um, so I started using stuff that, first of all, it is free. You know, I mean, again, you know, there was, there was a lot of investment that, so I was looking for ways to cut down on, you know, what I had to spend money on. Um, so, um, one of the softwares that I use is, um, Audacity to record in. And, um, and you know, then, then all the equipment that I got, you know, like my microphone and my headphone, my interface and all that stuff, I got, you know, as time went on and I got better ones, um, but I started with something not so pricey. Yeah. And then what is next on your journey? Um, I am looking to get the funding for season four of the Kipple story. That, uh, that is, uh, that is what I'm hoping to, to accomplish, uh, soon. <laughs> and then, um, where can people go find out about you and your work? Go to the Kipple story.com. Um, that's my website and then there are links. Um, you can also go to any one of, and I mean, wherever podcasts are, are heard, um, you can go, I mean, I'm on Apple podcast, um, you name it, I'm there. <laughs> uh, we also have an Instagram account. Uh, oh, besides, besides a podcast, I also have, um, if you go on Instagram, I, I also do um, interviews with people um, on the street. Uh, they're very short interviews, and 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 it's all about animals. And I just you know go on the street and talk to people about you know uh, certain issues, animal issues, and it's a lot of fun. So you can see some of those interviews on on uh, Instagram and on Facebook. And then, what is one takeaway that you want the audience to get from this episode? Uh, well, number one is uh, be kind to animals. Um, uh, make sure make sure that if you're thinking of getting a pet, uh, that you do your due diligence. You research everything and make sure that you're going to keep that pet for life. That's that's number one. And number two, if if you're interested in in doing um, a podcast, find your passion and go after it. All right, and then one last question. How can our listeners support you on your journey? Oh, wonderful question. I love it. Uh, yeah, you can go, I mean, like I said, you know, we have we have um, on, on uh, the Kid Bull Story, if you go on the podcast, um, if you want to make a donation so that, you know, we can do, um, we continue with season four, there's an opportunity there for you to do that. And I think that's all the questions I have for you today. I know it was a little bit shorter of an episode than I usually do. Um, is there any closing remarks you'd like to leave before we end the show for the audience? Um, no, I mean, I, I think that um, I think that, that I've said most of the things that i want to say um I'm, I'm really happy about the podcast uh, that i have uh the kid bull story it is fun and educational it has meaning meaningful messages uh it's 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 something for everyone it's you know for children for adults and um go check it out and please leave leave a comment uh, uh on facebook on instagram um, wherever um, we'd love to hear what you think about it. All right. And that is today's show. Thank you for being on the show today. And I do hope you have a great day. And thank you so much. It was very nice being here. <laughs> yeah. Nice.